All right, guys, I'm gonna, uh, this video is about market prices and how to get the best out of market prices so that you can make the most money. I see a lot of people struggling because they're stuck at Pier 73. And I'm gonna go over what piers and docks you wanna buy to make the most money and get the most out of spending that gold on those docks. So the first dock I unlocked is up here on the top right of the map. It's called Kings Bay Landing. If you're going for scallops, scallops are probably the best thing on the game for making money really fast if you can find good spots. So scallops here go for $14.91. See, a lot of stuff is in the green. Most of the time, a lot of it's in the green here. And the scallop population around here, I'll go ahead and show you scallops. Scallops are everywhere. I mean, if you if you get that port, you're going to never run out of scallops. You should not red zone all these places before the quota resets or the fish population resets. All right, now, the second port I unlocked. And this is not a professional recommendation, but this is just going off of what I've learned playing the game. I unlocked Port of Key West. It's uh, straight south of Pier 73. 73 is... I'll mark 73 when I edit the video. But uh, Alright, so Port of Key West. So your Florida Stone Crab Claw. Those are probably the best thing for this port. If you do a lot of crabbing, do your crabbing here. Bluefin Tuna. They go for really good. I've done a lot of tuna fishing. And uh, shrimp, they don't sell good here. But, I mean, if you're going for a tuna or stone claw, those are uh, good. Now, the next one, this is my favorite up here. I do crabbing up here. That's all I do. Is Cedar Hill. So, Dungeness Crab, that's what I crab for up here. And that's it. I, I keep one ship here, and I run it crabbing all day long. I check every three, four hours and fill up, and then at the end of the day, I go and sell. But uh, albacore tuna, you can catch those on a long line. Those are good here. Yellowtail rockfish, I believe you can catch those on a long line. I'm not 110% sure. Yep, you can. You can catch them with nets, too. Alright, so that's the three ports. Now, this one over here, I've barely used it, <clears throat> but it seems to do pretty well, as in bluefin prices and amberjack tuna and kingfish. I see a lot of people catching kingfish. If you're going for any of those fish, this is the place to go. All your uh, dredging and scallops and net shellfish are very low priced here they're not worth doing over here and port of yamba it's a uh it's not really a good port i wouldn't recommend that one but those are the uh ports i've got and then i got this one right up here kodiak carver so the crab i don't know how to say that crab's name but that crab is in the green most of the time you got your salmons and your sea bass and your sable fish all your salmons are pretty much going to sell here for a good price but the way the market works is so if i go to port of key west right and i'm i want to find tuna today so you go to find tuna where is it it's uh Right there. All right, so you see how there's two spots here, right? Right by Key West. Those are the two spots I go for. Now, if you go over here, this one's a little farther out. But that's 1560 for one, that's one pound of bluefin tuna. They usually get, I mean, I've caught 130 pounds. I've seen people catch 360 pound tuna. That's a good chunk of money for one 
one cast and one bring in. But there's only two spots within range. And over here, this is, remember, this is a scallop location. I use this for scallops. So this is my scallop location here. But if you look, they don't have bluefin tuna. So catching, going up here to catch bluefin, that's a no-go. Unless you unlock another port and it actually shows bluefin, I wouldn't even go up there. But once you have these ports, you basically have ports on four corners of the map, and that's all you need. So basically, you go to each port, you put one boat down, and you keep that one boat in the area. And you don't move it, you don't go crazy far out, and you just grind money until you can get a bigger ship that can go farther. But the way the market prices works is what is in high demand in that area. So if there's a, if the price of bluefin tuna is really high, that means there's going to be small, not a lot of spots to catch bluefin tuna. And it might not have any, I mean, it might not have a lot there for you to catch. But now if you look at, uh, What's in the red? Mackerel. Alright, so we're going to look at mackerels. Just to show y'all what I'm talking about. So you see how mackerel has one, two, three, five spots around there. That's because it's not in high demand because there's so many of them. There's so many spots to catch them. And that's how the ports work. That's what, if the UCAP, people that made UCAP and had a tutorial, they'd tell you it's based on what's in high demand mahi mahi if you go here they're flat because there's not a high demand and there's not a low demand it's right in the middle it's normal there's usually four spots around here so that's my uh tips for uh what ports to buy first i mean just go around find a port that has stuff that you like to catch on four corners, there's plenty to choose from on each of the four corners. And just buy one and check the info, you know? And if you if you like it, put a ship there. But if you're at Pier 73, this is... I'll, sa I'll save that for the next video. I'll do a Pier 73 tutorial if I get 15 uh, likes off of this video. I'll do a Pier 73 and how to get away from Pier 73. Because Pier 73 is the worst pier in the game for them to start you out at. And it causes the hardest grind. But that's all for this video. If y'all have any more questions, just leave a comment. I'll answer the question as best as I can. Again, this is not a professional recommendation or information on what to do in this game. But I will, I'll be releasing more videos daily. So just come back if you, if you have a question or you want me to go over something, put it on in the comments.